Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7. We're at episode number 1713 today, and today we're going to talk about Oscar Isaac, who has probably been comparatively the most forthcoming person about episode 9 and anything to do with it, even though he's not really telling us anything new exactly, but he is kind of. Um, I guess I should say not really telling us anything spoilery exactly, but... He just got onto the Today Show to talk about his new movie on Netflix, Triple Frontier, and, you know, as we have all experienced with people who are in Star Wars or who are going to be in a Star Wars movie coming up, you can't go <laughs> anywhere without being asked about Star Wars. It was with J.J. Abrams last month with the... Uh, uh, the U.S. Ireland Alliance thing that he was hosting or that Bad Robot was hosting and he and his wife were helping to put together. This month, it's Oscar Isaac with Triple Frontier. And here, courtesy of the Today Show, is what Oscar Isaac has to say about Episode Nine. In addition to this film, you have another little film coming out. I can't remember the name. I th oh, yeah, Star Wars. That's right. Yeah, that that's one. Right, that that's the one. Tiny thing. I know those things are kept under lock and key. Is there anything uh, that you are putting out there? that fans have to look forward to with this new one? Well, I, I think just it is the end of the entire Skywalker saga. Wow. Nine stories, and this is the culmination of the thing, and I think what J.J.'s done, and really the whole Lucas team uh, is going to be incredibly fulfilling and also special for us, because you'll get to learn a lot more new things about these characters. How much have you thought about Carrie Fisher, <coughs> excuse me, in this last um, shooting? So, so <coughs> we, we've thought about her so much. Her spirit's there. Um, uh, Billy Lord, her daughter, <coughs> came and, and played uh, a, a part, like a, a, a part that she played in the last film as well, in the last couple of films. Uh, so you know, her, her spirit was definitely there with us and uh, missing her a lot. So let's work backwards a little bit on this, shall we? First of all, you know, Carrie Fisher. Oh man. It's very strange to think of her as having a presence in Episode Nine when we know that she's appearing via footage that's been previously shot. But what we don't necessarily know is how that means she's going to be interacting with other characters in the movie, at least as presented in the movie. Obviously, you know, <laughs> through technology, there's only so much you can do as far as that interaction goes. But how are the characters interacting with her? I mean, there's every reason to believe that whenever they show Leia on screen, she's not going to be by herself. There is going to have to be some sort of interaction happening. So that is a really fascinating thing to consider, especially when you talk about you know, the, the spirit of Carrie Fisher being, you know, invested in everyone's hearts and being on everyone's minds throughout this whole process. So I can't even imagine what shooting those scenes are going to have been like for whoever the actors are that are involved with scenes involving previously used footage of Carrie Fisher. So that, I think, is going to be one of the biggest stories to come out of Episode Nine from a behind-the-scenes perspective. As far as this being the end of the Skywalker saga, well, you know, that was part of the press release when they announced that principal photography was beginning on episode nine, that it would be the end of the Skywalker saga. Uh, you know, the previous stuff about it, actually, I think even the J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio announcement uh, that it was going to be the end of the Skywalker saga. Like, that's consistent language that's been used throughout any discussion of the movie in anything resembling an official capacity. And the word fulfilling is a neat choice from Oscar Isaac as well. I think satisfied is the word that came from J.J. Abrams in February when he was interviewed by Ash Cross of uh, Entertainment Tonight. Yeah, it's Entertainment Tonight. That's right. And so now we have fulfilled as another option. But you know, the thing that he threw out there, and it's kind of easy to jump into, and yet you kind of have to dial yourself back. At least that was my experience of it. And it has to do with that line about learning a lot about a lot of new things about these characters. And when I heard that, the initial thing I jumped to was that we're going to learn more about Luke and Leia because, you know, that... <laughs> <laughs> that's sort of where the focus is when it's the Skywalker saga, right? You know, those are the Skywalkers that we have. But it isn't just about them. And in fact, we are advancing the story of Star Wars in general. And so we should be learning lots of new things about Rey, about Poe, about Finn, about Ben Solo, a.k.a. Kylo Ren, and whoever else is showing up in this movie. 
Lando specifically, <laughs> right? I mean, that's who we really want to know about Lando because we don't know anything other than him assisting with some of the cleanup duty after the events of Return of the Jedi, and that's thanks to story mode in Battlefront 2. But that only takes us to 5 ABY. Oh, yeah, and I guess there is some stuff in Last Shot as well. So, yeah, a couple of years after that. Um... And actually, even, wow, Star Wars Uprising had something that, well, not Uprising, sorry, it was taking place in the Uprising period, that mobile video game, but really where it appeared was in one of those interlude scenes in the Aftermath novels. So, yeah, I guess he has shown up post-Return of the Jedi a couple of times already, but really, I think we're going to get some meaty stuff about him, even though, yeah, it's a cameo, it's not going to be a lot of screen time, I'm sure, but I think they'll probably give us enough to what our appetites, but... Ultimately, we do have to come back to the fact that this is about Rey and Ben Solo as a Skywalker, for all intents and purposes, as well as Poe and Finn and anyone else they want to throw at us, because that ultimately is going to be the future of Star Wars, these characters that were introduced to us with the sequel trilogy. So hopefully we're going to learn some fascinating new things about them, as well as our old favorites, too. And I've got one last little note that's unrelated to this, but it is related to George Lucas and a set visit, and I'll share that with you in just a moment. But first, I just got to remind you to subscribe to this here show if you're not doing so already, wherever you happen to like to catch it. Audio, video, whichever your preference is, it's here for you. And I hope you will also consider supporting me in delivering this daily dose of Star Wars joy to you, giving it... 20 hours a week or more in delivering a week's worth of episodes to you, which, hey, you can, you know, listen every day or you can save them up and listen once a week, just like you listen to most of the other podcasts out there. Anyway, <laughs> you can do it any way you like, but I hope you will consider supporting me doing it for you at patreon.com slash SW7X7. So the George Lucas set visit was actually not to episode nine. As far as we know, it was to the set of Game of Thrones of all things, as it turns out. And there's, you know, very little in the way of details about it, but it is kind of interesting when you consider the fact that, of course, Benioff and Weiss are going to be making their own Star Wars movies, which may or may not be a series, may or may not be a trilogy, may just be three movies that don't necessarily make up a trilogy exactly, depending on how you want to look at it. But anyway, so George Lucas is still out and about on movie sets, even as he moves forward with his Lucas Museum as well, the Lucas Museum of Narrative Art. So that is going to do it officially here from today's episode. And if Lucas does make a set visit to episode nine's set, or if he did at some point, then, you know, we'll talk about that here too. For now, though... That's going to do it for today, and it just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for this episode, and may the Force be with you, wherever in the world you may be. This podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox. It is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other related Star Wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the Force be with them. All original content is copyright 2019 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.